April 2020, Easter time at a time of coronavirus, social distancing rules. That means no more Maundy Thursday washing of the feet in this beautiful building. We will be doing it again, and here's what used to happen. What began 30 years ago as a protest against, you know, institutionalised up itself religion, started because I really wanted to wash the feet of the most homeless and lost people who came to our Loaves and Fishes restaurant in Ashfield. <laughs> Imagine Jesus using plastic gloves. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. And my congregation, the lovely old ladies in the congregation, they said to me, because I said, I'm going to wash all the homeless people's feet. And, and the old girls looked at me and they said, are you going to wear your robes, Bill? And I said, no, no, I'm just going to do it the way I want to do it, which is just people sharing. And so the first time we opened the restaurant up and I said to the guests who came in, I'm going to wash your feet. And of course everybody looked, my feet? I'm not going to have my feet washed. You're not washing your feet? Yes, I am. I'm going to wash my own feet. No, 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 no. no. Sit down. Sit down. It's all right. Come on, this is special, this is special detergent in there that'll clean your feet. So I've sat down over 30 years and I must have washed thousands of feet. It's all right. Take your shoes off, babe. Come on, take your shoes off. And what I've found is the washing of the feet of the poorest of the poor is the most humbling experience you can have. As they sit down and they have their feet in the water and you start washing their feet, they tell you their stories. I've never known the comfort that comes from people from just having their feet washed. Now, of course, some of them haven't washed their feet for quite a while. So we have to make sure we, we put all this, this detergent and stuff and, and, and you know, disinfectant in the water so that the, the water's quite OK. Good. <laughs> What's your name? Tom. I'm Bill. Good. I'm Bill. Bill. Good on you, Tom. Are you with the church here? Yes, I'm the minister here. Oh, I thought Bill Cruz. Oh, you're Bill Cruz? Yeah. And they say, oh, you've got to wear gloves. And I say, I can't wear gloves. This is actually touching skin. And so we have people come in and they tell me these stories. And you get people who have been drug addicts who have, who have injected heroin between their toes. They're uh, off it now, you know. You get widows and they start talking about how lonely they are. And I cannot tell you the number of people who have said to me, Bill, now I want to wash your feet. I want to wash your feet. And I find myself really humbled because they come and they sit down and um, wash my feet and dry them. And it's magic. It is just magic. And I find that for years afterwards, those people and I have this special relationship because we've washed each other's feet. What I find is it is the most meaningful experience in the world to wash feet. All people's life experience is in their feet. And as you wash their feet and the, the experiences start to move from the feet back up to the brain, into the mouth, and then you share an experience which is truly holy. Do you want to get your feet washed? Come on, mate. Sit down. Food good?